I'm Mr. Xtreme and today I'll be going over how you can operate the bus within TRP. So when you first run the game, you'll want to press on the drive button and uh, select your vehicle. And once you have selected your vehicle, you should be able to customize it. With the, you can enable advertisements. You can change its library color. Uh, you can select flags and all that. So, what you want to do is choose this uh, depot on the left, as the one on the right is currently uh, still under development, and you will not be able to drive the bus. Now I'll uh, go ahead and spawn. Right, once you're in game, you should uh, be able to approach this uh, counter over here and select your toolbox, which you will need. And so my bus will also should be somewhere here. And so you can also uh, look down and see what your bus number is. And so what I first like to do is Open this door, go inside, and place my toolbox in order to get the equipment I need. I'll start by uh, attaching the pole up here. So, uh, in order to attach the pole up there, which uh, you have to, it's basically the lifeline of your bus, you uh, Press E and Q to adjust it. E is to uh, pull it up. Uh, e is to push it up, and uh, Q is to pull it down. And so, once you have uh, put your pole, once you have attached your pole, you should uh, press right click over here to prepare it. Now, once that is over, you're gonna go ahead and push your pole, catch it away. And you're gonna get your reverse in range in order to uh, shift gears, basically. Well, not gears, but reverse and uh, remove forward. And you're gonna go ahead and get the clock. Well, this is optional. Uh, you may put a clock over here depending on your preferences and as you can see you can put it in different places like over here, over there, it's up to you. Now once that is done, you should go ahead and activate these uh, switches. You should activate uh, four of these. You should activate this, this and these two. Uh, go ahead and ignore the front seat breaker. And then you're gonna activate these things. So what the uh, control circuit will do is it will determine your direction. So if you can have from left or right and then you have the compressor which uh, I believe it's uh, I'm not sure. Oh yeah, that should be for this door. So uh, the compressor on it, I believe. And you have the buzzer which will uh, make a sound if your pole is not attached properly, if it's connected. So you should uh, go ahead and activate those. And at the same time, you should activate these two. Now I'm going to go ahead and leave my door open. I'm going to activate this button so I can come back and my door open. Uh, and while the uh, button is starting up, I'll go ahead and get the uh, other button. Uh, a 
Actually, I'll be going over to Route 14. That's where I'll get to that road. Now that's from the uh, edge of the wire here, which uh, informs us that I have changed my route. Uh, there's also, oh my God. There's also uh, a timetable, which you can go you know, put over here. So it's optional, but I'm going to go ahead and put it that way. You don't have time to do this, but it's like a gift you know, if you want to. So, now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and close the door. So I'm going to keep the uh, pressure on my uh, bus and it should be at least 5, uh, as you can see it's 5.6 uh, kilograms uh, per, uh, per centimeter square. Uh, it should be at minimum 5, so it will be better if it's a higher number, it can go up to 8 I believe. So I'm going to wait a little and get it to at least, I guess, around, uh, get to around 7. Now that it's close to 7, I'll uh, go ahead and um, left click on this box over here. It will uh, forward your bus, it will go on to forward here. And you can left click on the driver's seat. Uh, on your screen, I will show the buttons and the key binds that you need to know. So, uh, in order to start, in order to start moving forward, I'll press P to the exit the parking brake and uh, hold W to start driving. So you should also uh, see a, route, uh, a map of the route, and now I'll be showing you which direction to go. And so as you can see over here, I'm approaching a turn. Uh, it can be seen over here. So uh, in order to change, in order to determine your direction on turns, you should press E turn right and you should continue accelerating if you'd like to make a left turn. So in this uh, scenario I'm going to press E right as I approach it, I press E. And as you can see it has made a right turn and now I'm going to press E again so uh, it goes back to its original state and it makes a left turn, oh well in this case, which is unusual. Well, uh, let me, so as you can see, you know, sometimes you might make some mistakes and you'll have to um, get out of your bus and uh, re uh, reattach the uh, pole, which I'll be doing right now. When you're reattaching re the pole, you should be FAD, so you can easily control it. Now that that's done, I can go ahead and continue my route. And as you can see, I have made a left turn from here. And also keep in mind that turn should not be so now as I approach the turn, I'm pressing E to make a right turn, and as you can see, the pole has switched to the right, allowing me to make a right turn without it reattaching, and now I'm gonna stop here. Uh, if you do run a uh, if you do run a red light, it'll um, take some points from your drive points. I believe it's thirty. And as you can see, I may have ran a few red lights. So now that I approach this uh, bus stop, I'm supposed to get a little uh, closer to the street.
and uh, once you have stopped, you're gonna press P to make a full stop, and then you're gonna go ahead and zoom in, open the door, wait a few seconds for the passenger support, and now, uh, now that it says OK over here, you may go ahead and close these doors. And that's it. I can see it here too. Now I'm gonna go ahead and make a right turn from here. As you can see, since there is no left turn from here, I don't have to press E to change my direction. Because the only way to go is right from here. And now I approach another stop. So you may go ahead and activate your right blinkers by pressing C. It's optional though. And uh, come to a complete stop by pressing P. So now that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and open these doors again. Wait a few seconds. And that's all. Now I'm going to press E to change directions, as you can see there is a uh, turning point right here. Now I'm going to press E again, so I can accelerate. Now I'll go ahead and make another right turn, as you can see I can only go right from here if you follow these uh, lines. And we make another turn. Well, it looks like my pole has detached again, and I have to fix that. And after I have stopped there, I'll be making a left turn. Then you'll be coming across another stop over here. Well, it seems that my boss has made a right turn from here, which uh, isn't supposed to, which wasn't supposed to happen, so I'll go ahead and change the start again. And you'll be coming across another stop over here. Seems 
that my boss has once again made a right turn, so I'll be fixing that. As you will have to make a left turn from here. Once it is night, you may also go ahead and activate the firelight. And you'll be making a left turn back into the tunnel. And I have pressed E over here to change my direction for the right. Now that you have reached the roundabout, your route will be a loop at this point, so that means you will be circling around the same route. And I'll be heading And now I'll be heading back to the depot. Keep in mind that if you were to continue a route, you will be making a left turn from here, but since I'm returning to the depot, I'll be moving forward.
Yeah, I was uh, supposed to make a right turn from there, so I'll go ahead and reverse. My bus has glitched, so I'll be ending the video over here. Well, what you would normally do is make a right turn from here and enter the depot, but unfortunately, I couldn't get there. And uh, that's all. Thank you for watching.